I think it's actually everything we've talked about for months. Fear that the Fed's going to go too far. Fear that the trade war with China uh, will continue on into January when the tariffs jump to 25 percent. Uh, fears that our relations with Saudi Arabia are deteriorating very rapidly, those with China as well. And, you know, a whole host of other uh, things, peak earnings, all of these, you know, have played into the mix and been talked away. And then finally, it just seems like the market gave up, gave ground here and decided that it all mattered when over the last several months it didn't I mean, the, really. I the, mean, the, the, the earnings have not been bad by any stretch no, of the imagination. Some all, of the commentary has been a little cautious, uh, Steve Grasso. I know you look yep. at trading levels. What do you uh, infer from how the market has traded today and bounced off of various levels and come back? So if you look at the February lows, that was 25.32. If you look at the recent highs, you're up around 29.40. A couple of retracement levels and a couple of recent lows. 27.10, that was your recent low. Retracement levels were 26.88. We stopped basically on a dime there. But Ty, this is about interest rates. Would you not agree? October 3rd, Powell speaks. October 17th, the market hits another top, uh, recent top, sells off again. This is all about rates. The other stuff doesn't help. This is all about rates, though, my opinion. And I don't disagree with that. I would say that was the first, you know, among equals, if you will, of the problems that the market faces. And I think going forward, if indeed the stock market recovers, then you're right back where we were, where the Federal Reserve doesn't have any reason to pause, doesn't have, unless, you know, something happens globally, some external factor, you know, outside the U.S. that creates uncertainty about the pace of growth. But then they're right, we're right back where we were, with the Fed likely to continue its rate hike patterns. Well, Ron, doesn't this, doesn't this feel a lot like when Greenspan raised rates in the face of an inverted yield curve but said it wasn't really important or the market uh, signals were wrong on that. Doesn't it feel as if we're raising into a slowing economy? Yeah. Doesn't it feel the same sort of environment? Yeah, I, I certainly don't disagree with that. I mean, I, but I, I say if the, if the stock market were to recover, and you know, all everything I heard on CNBC today was, okay, will if, if the market continues to go down, will the Fed say something conducive to, to the market recovering? Will they suggest there could be a pause if there are too many variables to consider? And that's clearly not going to happen if the market recovers today. And, and yes, then the Fed could right. continue tightening into the face of what appears to be certainly a slowdown in the interest sensitive sectors in the market.